with the boomerangs and today we're going to try a start vertically and then go horizontally. What is up guys? It's Javi with the boomerangs and today we're going to try a little experiment. Here I have two eight wing boomerangs. Now I made one of these in the past, but I noticed once I got to eight wings, these boomerangs don't really come back. It didn't matter how vertically I threw it. It would always start vertically and then go horizontally and just generate so much lift that it would go straight up, stall and come down and hit the ground pretty hard. So like I said before, I got two of these boomerangs and my trusty little handsaw. And what we're gonna do is, we know that it won't fly with eight wings. I'll show you guys in a second. And then I'm gonna start cutting off wings until it starts coming back. And then I'm gonna keep cutting wings until it doesn't come back. So to start off, I'm gonna throw them both and just confirm that they actually don't come back. Here's the other one. Here we go. Stalls and it falls. Well, the reason I have two is because I'm gonna cut wings in different orders. On this one, I'm gonna cut wings on opposite sides. So I'll start with this one, then I'll cut this one, then I'll cut this one, then I'll cut this one. On this other boomerang, I'm gonna start on this one, cut this one, and then I'm gonna cut this one, and I'm gonna go in a circle. And we'll see which boomerang flies better. So now I start cutting. Please don't hate on my technique. I'm just out in the field, trying to make this happen. There it goes. First wing cut. Let's do the other one. It just turned out to be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Nice. Cut the second wink off. So now I have two seven wing boomerangs. Let's toss them. Two seven wing boomerangs. First one. Woo, nice, look at that. It came back. All right, here's the other one. Nice. Oh yeah. Woo. That was pretty cool. Hopefully you can tell that they actually came back closer than they did the first time when they had eight wings. They're coming back to me. Let's cut off another wing. So on this one, I'm gonna do the opposite wing. I'm gonna go here. There's the second wing. That actually looks pretty cool. Six wing boomerang. And then with this one, I'm just gonna go in a circle. So I'll cut this one now. All right. All right, now check this out. Now I have this six wing boomerang and this six wing boomerang. This one actually looks really cool. Let's see how they fly. First, this one. Nice, it's really not balanced, but it almost came back. Now let's try this evenly cut one. Nice, look at that. Good return money let's do that again nice good return almost this one flies really well and it looks really cool let's cut off another wing let's cut this one off all right there it is <laughs> that looks kind of interesting now on this one we'll cut this wing off there it goes we have this boomerang, five wings, and then we have this other one, also five wings. <laughs> and it looks really odd, but kind of cool. First, we'll start with the uneven one. Here we go. Now that's really uneven and that's stalling. Woo, it almost stuck in the ground. I think it did stick in the ground. <laughs> it did. All right, my money's on this one. Oh yeah, a little bit unbalanced, but whew, good glide, good return. Let's do that again. Nice. Look at that return, almost a catch. I think the closest that this boomerang got to returning was when it had seven wings. Um, I think it's not gonna return anymore. One, on the other hand, I think once I cut this middle arm, 
It's gonna return and fly really well. There it goes. Now we have a really uneven boomerang. All right, now we just even this one out, right there. Nice. Now we have a good looking X-wing shaped boomerang and this pretty uneven four-wing boomerang. I think this one is gonna fly amazing. So first we fly this uneven four-wing boomerang. Let's see. Ah. Uh, <laughs> goes pretty straight doesn't really come back now we try this one. Oh yeah money Woo! caught it let's do that again nice Woo! now this made for a really well flying boomerang so sad I need to cut it though I think it'll still fly very well when it only has three this one, this one is a lost cause. I'm sorry. There it goes. Three wings. Now we do three wings on this one. There it goes. I'm sure you guys can already imagine what's gonna happen. Let's do it anyways. It goes pretty far straight, gets some air, and then into the ground. I think it'll make us proud. Let's see. Oh yeah. Doing a circle, it's coming back. Money! Woo! It flies so well. I think I could throw this one all day, not get bored. I have all my wing tips here lined up. I have 10 of them. And uh, unfortunately, this good thing is gonna come to an end. So I'm gonna cut this wing now. Oh, broke right off, nice. Now that feels really flimsy. All right, and now we do cut this one. Nice. <laughs> now we have two bi-wing boomerangs. So now, of course, we try this one first. Go straight, and it falls. Now we try this one. <laughs> and it goes straight. I think what I'll do now is I'll throw it horizontally to see if I get a different result. Here it goes. Oh, wow. That thing got some distance. It like hovered above the ground and then it picked up, stalled, and then fell. Now let me show you guys this one again because I loved how it flew. Whew. It just stays above the ground. All right, guys, so what is left to cut is just one wing. I really want to keep this one the way it is because it flies pretty cool. So I'm only going to cut this one. They're going to end up in the same shape. Nice. I like to call it the magnifying glass boomerang or <laughs> the popsicle boomerang. It's probably not going to come back. Let's see what it does. I'll throw it vertically first, then I'll throw it horizontally. Here we go. Vertical throw, straight down, horizontal throw. Ooh, that was cool. I will say, I didn't expect all the results I got when making the uneven boomerang. I thought it would still come back when it had five wings, but it really didn't. I mean, it was a good learning experience. I figured out what works and what doesn't. So this is what I'm left with. Neither of these come back. But it was a good experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.